When bushfires turn fierce, you may have only moments to evacuate. That means knowing what essentials to take with you. This is Wayne from the Queensland hey, Rural Fire Service. How are you? So are you guys up for doing a bit of an experiment? Obviously there's no fire coming, so we're not going to... Don't want anyone to stress <laughs> out. See what you can do, we'll see how long it takes. So you... Cool. <laughs> yeah. No, no good thing in your case. The 12 hands makes light work. You ready? Yep. Go for it. Go. Get the dog. get the chicken, get the dog. Let's okay, go. let's go. Yep. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Are we actually doing this? <laughs> While both families scramble to act, it's a question we should ask ourselves. What would you pack if you only had 10 minutes to bail? They've got a lot of animals here. Yeah. Animals are... Is that one of the first things people want to get? Oh, look, it wouldn't be the first things. If you're not planning ahead, your emotions take over yeah. and you'll get the things that mean more to you rather than things you need to have. Yeah. I'm just in a complete state of panic. I can't believe it, how much this has made me stress. I'm wondering if it's realistic to take all the chickens yeah, out. Yeah. Well, 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 this is it. <laughs> We're learning as we go, aren't we? Yeah. You've got the mountain bike. I should have asked this early, but how many chickens do you have? To be honest, I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, OK, we don't know how many chickens we got. Water. Well done. Cool. Well done. Hard drive. You remember the hard drive? Yeah. I was, I was starting to wonder about that. Right, so we got chickens, we got dogs, we got snake. Yep. Yep. And we got the hard drive. Yep. Couldn't get all the chickens. Couldn't get all the chickens. No. We, were really we, heard, we heard the siren go off. So. <laughs> we heard the siren, so we thought maybe we should just yeah, cut no, our losses. Okay. <laughs> This is all documentation in here, like passports and records of, of rates notices, that type of thing. Yeah, so it's that's got sentimental yep. stuff in it. Like, so each okay. kid has a box with little bits and pieces, their birth certificate. People and always go for the sentimental things first. And there's nothing wrong with that, that's yeah. human nature. Because that's important to the recovery phase as well, that you've got those things with you. What did you learn from that first 10 minutes? Uh, not well, as organised as we thought we were. Not as organised as we thought we were, okay. I was like, where's the pet packs? What else? We've got a lot of phones and things like that. Yeah. Yep. We're missing a couple of things with the phones. Charges. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Did yes. you just think oh, you of that one? one? Oh, there we go. There's one there. Well done. There you go. Yeah, right. I would have and forgotten got... that. I, ha I have a question, right? What car are we taking? And where is the bike going? Ah, I'm riding the bike. you're riding the bike away the from the bike. fire. <laughs> Strap it to the roof. In my car. Maybe we need to rethink that part yeah. of the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. if the bike's yeah, outside, it might be all right. So what are the essentials you should have ready by your door in case of an emergency? Wayne recommends important documents, medications, toiletries, a phone, and of course, don't forget the charger. It's also fine to bring that much-loved teddy you can't live without.